What's up guys, it's Little Exclusive here, and man, what a day. I'm finally getting back into this game that I've been, I have, man, this is like, this takes me back, man. GTA 3 Definitive Edition, I mean, I know there's been, this game recently released, and I know there's been, you know, some people who are not necessarily, you know, content with how it looks, but I mean, you know, I'm playing this for the nostalgia. I mean, GTA 3 is a classic for me. It is a game that pretty much got me into gaming, honestly, because it is the first game I ever played. It's the game that introduced me to PS2, PlayStation 2, and it just kind of took off from there. Halo and this game are, like, the roots of, like, my console gaming experience, so, uh, you know, believe it or not, as crazy as I may sound to somebody, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely what it is, and, uh, you know, I was really young when I played this game, and uh, wasn't really good at it, so I'm hoping that maybe... At this point, I'm going to be a little bit better, <laughs> but uh, we'll see, you know, definitely excited to get back into this. Uh, the nostalgia is definitely there. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is a game about um, a guy who's just trying to basically, you know, make ends meet and trying to make money um, and trying to climb through the ranks of Liberty City. You know, doing all kinds of things like odd jobs for the mafia, you know, just just doing all kinds of things. So, yeah, it's uh, it's exciting and I'm ready to get right into it. So uh, without further ado, let's just press the start button and let's go. Takes me back, man. And the game starts off pretty wildly. Big heist. You know? Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. How does someone survive that, though? I don't know, honestly. Criminal shot by girlfriend accomplice. Court finds armed robber guilty by unanimous verdict. He literally got shot in the face. I'm not sure how he survived that, but should not have survived that. At least from what it looked like. You know, if the camera angle has anything to say about it, he literally got shot. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Jeez, Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, Let's this bomb. disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. <laughs> so they blow up the bridge. Come Take safe time. On. Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You gonna be sorry. <laughs> oh man, the original voices. Sounds terrible. Aye, aye, get lost! Sounds like they did over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics are better <laughs> than what I remember. Not great, but, you know. And that's the premise. You can't go to the other side because of the broken bridge. And it doesn't get fixed till later on. I mean, it's up to freaking brightness for this I know game. a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Your hands are messed up, but yet you just entered the car like no problem. This is Give me liberty. Wait, getting rid of this one. Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Oh. Jeff Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted for you to once in a lifetime to get huh. to make a trip. to break or to reverse the vehicle stopped. Although we'll be any fan of the team called all night, all day to 
driving feels familiar. Didn't change that much, which is good. Very arcadey, which I like. Right bumper for the handbrake. Pretty standard. I mean, they did upgrade the update the control scheme, so it's pretty cool. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Definitely need to do that. I don't want to look like freaking prisoners. When not on a mission, you can save your game here. This will advance time six hours. If the garage next door can store one vehicle when you save your game. Alright. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Oops. Let's go this way. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> Luigi's Girls. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Honestly, anyone that didn't grow up with this game probably won't enjoy it, but if you did, then I'm sure the nostalgia will be enough for you to enjoy it. Say hello to eight ball, lady. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Or well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Yeah, maybe I should increase the brightness just a bit. It's a little bit dark. Do that real quick. Um, hopefully that's good. Mm, maybe a little bit more. Is that better? Doesn't seem to be really improving it, but it'll do. Doesn't look terrible now. You guys go? Damn, man. Alright. Let's go pick up his girl. Oh damn, it starts fast. Brakes don't really work. Hit them pretty hard and it's not fast as hell. He's coming from the clinic. Hey Misty, get in. Hi, I'm Misty. Sounds like yo, she also sounds like she did over the phone too. Let's change the camera. Let go. You like that? Log on to petsovernight.com. We've got exotic. Easy as that, man. Fifteen hundred dollars, man, just for the first ten minutes. There you go. First achievement. First day on the job. Completely Luigi's girls. All right, now joining us. All right. Um. Let's go back. Don't spank my bitch up. <laughs> Luigi said to to give you this, so here, here, take it. It's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Jeez. Gotta calm down, bro. Wait, the bat. Declare weapons walk through them. These can be cannot be collected while in view. Oh. Alright. Stick the bat. I think we 
all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, lad, though. This is a way of A ninja life. period? Oh, God! No, I'm sorry. Damn it. The cops are on me. I gotta, like, lose Oh, my God, bro. Just one star. Not necessarily chasing me. So I should be okay. There you go. It's gone. The frosty. Hey man, what's up, bro? Sprayed. It's close to Luigi's place. <laughs> Man, this brings me back, bro. Look at this guy. Is he just walking around with a gun? Is this a gun in his hand, bro? I think so. It's crazy. How is that okay? Let's drive inside. Thousand dollars, man, to respray. That's crazy. Hope you like the new color. Looks exactly the same. Thanks. Now what? Stash the car in Luigi's locker. Okay. Damn it, I turned around the wrong way. Okay. I know this new... This, this version of the game has achievements, which, you know, obviously this game came out on the OG Xbox, which didn't have that function, and I will be going through them, but, uh, honestly, I'm playing this just for fun, man, just to get through the story and mostly to relieve that, you know, relive the experience, because I've never actually finished this game. At least, I don't remember. I think I finished Vice City. And maybe San Andreas, which is part of the collection, which I did buy. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, like I said, I just want to have fun with this game. Nice, got some health. Okay, need to get back to Luigi's. I need a car. Let's see, so... Back button is to change camera. Start button is for the map. Here we go. Ah, oh, you can't place waypoints? Yeah, you can. Oh, I see. I guess not on places that, uh... That have a marker already. It's weird. I really want to walk all the way over there, though. It's not that far, I guess. Why isn't he sprinting, though? That's my question. Well, I guess he is, but... It's not really... Not that fast. It's, like, barely noticeable. What the hell happened here? Yeah, these guys are... Oh, God! What the... Holy crap, alright. Not a part of that. Oh, it's the rampage. I know that there's uh, collectibles, like in the packages, if I remember correctly, which give you money and also, like right here, in package one of a hundred. Um, I think eventually, if you get like enough of them, they start unlocking like weapons or something at your at your out uh, 
at like your stash, your house, your hideout, whatever you want to call it. Since there's a hundred of them, there's three islands. I think that each island has like around thirty of them. Drive Misty for me. Combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. It's funny, they look like Sims. <laughs> Damn, I don't have a car, man. Behind you. Man, you couldn't even, like, give me a car to use? Come on, guy. So I think there's a package up here, probably. Not really gonna focus on getting all these right now, but... Whichever I run into, I guess I can grab. Let me grab a car. Without my dollar. And can I get a decent one? Come on, man. Like, I don't want to pick her up in a freaking taxi. Here go the cops. Sure Thank you. Oh, no, okay. Later, lady. It's not a good car, but we'll do. Activate the horns, let her know you're here. You're walking right in with the Luigi now, huh? It's about time you got a driver we can trust. Yeah, yeah, totally. Man, this car, this car doesn't Ever turn good. Screw you, something uh, here. Light on the wall is flashing, which means the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Damn it, move. My name is Donald Love. You're listening to a okay. media station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. The station. Alright, let's go this way. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. Alright, let's go to the phone. Oh, okay. Just walking around with a bat. It's, it's all good. This is normal. I'll be with you in a minute, Spock. Jeez, plug. man. <laughs> hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? I know his voice. Is it a phone? I remember this one. Where is it at? Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, right there. Isn't this one like the race or something? The crook. The name is Jocks. Marty Jocks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Definitely not a good surprise. Alright, let's take this car. Oh, 
Freaking Idaho. Hey, what? Why does somebody go through there? Wait, where is he? He's inside? Oh, wait, maybe he used to take his car? Hello? Okay. Oh, yep, take my car. I guess that makes sense. That way he knows that I'm working for this guy, Marty Chunks. Go and meet the bank manager. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I call new beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turbo. See? The passion cheese back. Jeez, man. Infidelity. Oh, God. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. This car also doesn't know how to really break. Hey man, what up? Ah, oh, Mr. Chunk sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. What the? Oh God, I almost ran over that lady. <laughs> Jeez, man. Alright, let's see. Uh. Go here. This car sucks. Hello? Now, of course, you gotta get. Alright, smell you later, bro. If you even live through whatever is going to about to happen here. Oh, come on, lady. You don't have dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last few dollars last night buying gas at the old school way of things. Get your hands off me, off! Peace! Oh. Take the car to the crusher to get rid of the evidence. Get out of the car and the crane will pick it up. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling in the show. Remember, the car crusher is like all the way on the other side of the town, no? Ah. It's so slidey. Jeez, man. You're crazy, you idiot. <laughs> you guys get the hell out of the way? Oh, God. Man, you honk and they just... Eh, I'm just gonna keep crossing the street. It's all good. God, bumps. Alright. Let's get out. Guess I'm gonna drive this. Oh, the rain. Jeez, can't see anything. Just gonna wait. There we go. 